Ma, 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 what it do, broski? It's my man, Daddy. Matt Fly, two eyes, back in the back of the trap, cooking up crap with a whole nother slap, broski. <laughs> I did it with a backhand that time. I almost messed up everything. But yo, major, major shout out and salute to all my OGs, youngest day ones, and new members alike, broski. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you are subscribed and notified. If you ain't did that for me already, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that, bro. And if you already mobbed up, man, mob up on that like button. Let's run them likes up on this one, broski. Do that for your boy. I need that. Big old box on dick, man. We about to hop into this joint. And we're going to get into the pros and cons. You know what I'm saying? On the mob. Man, I just got a little case. I need about three or four more cases. So, hey, at any point in time, container store, if you came across this video or any other of my videos, I'm a huge supporter of the brand. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> put your boy on the game, coach. Man, I want to be on the team too. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, bro, we got a case of the black drop fronts. I want to talk about pros and cons of using drop fronts in general. You know what I'm saying? With the clear ones, you can see we all had the clear ones, and I think we can all agree that they will save you a ton of space and definitely, you know what I'm saying, make your shoes easy to get to, looks cool, keep your stuff organized, all that. My opinion is way better than stacking boxes, bro. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing that did worry me about these clear drop fronts is I did not know or wasn't sure on if they had UV protection or not, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's kind of blocked off now because I got pops stacking up to the ceiling, but at first, you know what I'm saying, the light would just shine straight in and hit the top row of my sneakers. And it kind of, you know what I'm saying, left me a bit weary because I didn't want my shoes to get sun bleached. You know what I'm saying? If you see the shoe in direct sunlight, that color's gonna change. It's gonna wash out automatically. You can't, there's no way around that broski, so. I'm definitely happy about the black boxes. I'm gonna use straight black boxes from now on out, you know what I'm saying? Cause they're gonna be up higher, sun gonna hit them the most. And yeah, I shouldn't be worried about sun bleaching at all. One of the reasons I um, wanted to convert to drop fronts because, oh, let me get one, let me get one. <laughs> My bad job. But yeah, one of the reasons I wanted to convert to drop fronts is because, dang, not even this shoe. <laughs> I thought this was the um the OG Roy. Well, not the OG Roy, but you know what I'm talking about. I wanted to convert to drop fronts because I thought it would stop the glittering process. At the time, we didn't know what the glitter was or why our shoes was glittering. We just knew it was happening over time. You know what I'm saying? Now we've learned that it's the finish, whatever finish that they put over top of the shoe 
it's just breaking down and turning into glitter. But we didn't know if it was the box. Some people were saying it's the paper, <laughs> like the actual paper that comes inside the shoe. And you know what I'm saying? Speculations was all over the place. We just didn't know. So I went out, converted the drop fronts, pulled my joints out, and they still had glitter fart all over it. You know what I'm saying? Glitter dust all over the shoe. It's way worse on the bread. I should have grabbed the bread, but this one definitely has some glitter as well. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, drop fronts won't stop the glitter, but it will help you organize your shoes and just make it look nicer, bro. You know what I'm saying? And there's definitely other ways to display and organize and, you know what I'm saying, get your little sneaker set up right. But for now, I prefer drop fronts. I wouldn't mind having a couple stands just to put like grills on so they'll be out but still i don't want them out getting dusty and all that either so you know what i'm saying drop front serve that purpose man but yeah um mm. hey bro let's load these joints up with some heat put them in place and see how it look at the end bro come on <laughs> So yeah, we back, broski. You know what I'm saying? And this how it look. When you mix up the clear with the black ones. Of course, I got to get some more black ones. So you'll have a better idea. But yeah, man. <laughs> I kind of don't want to go too high because I don't want to cover up my mod painting. But I do want all the shoes that I'm not going to sell or I know for sure is never, ever, ever going to leave the collection of drop front. So... Like I said, container store. <laughs> Hit your boy with about four or five more cases. I'll be good. You know what I'm saying? I'll be good to go. If not, I'll pick them up along the way. But yeah, like I was thinking to say before I went into that little spill, I know a lot of people may be worried about how the black would mix with the white. And bro, you can't really tell looking at it head on. Of course, the black one's got the black outline around the box, but it looked pretty cool mixed up honestly how i would say do it go one black one white one black or you know what i'm saying do it how i got mine set up in an odd number so you can put one color on the outside and one in the inside you know what i'm saying you see at this top layer i got two black one white in the middle or clear two black i think that would look absolutely dope you know what i'm saying full on just depending on how you mix it up Put two colors on the outside, one on the inside, you good, broski. And yeah, in my opinion, it look fire. I'm excited. I need more. <laughs> I definitely need more. And the drop front stack is getting up there, bro. It's getting pretty high, man. I just don't want to cover the picture, but you know what I'm saying? I may have to and move the painting somewhere where y'all can see it still. Maybe I put it on the back wall behind the window or beside the window. Or who knows? I'm going to figure it out, man. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely can't wait to get more. I'm going to show y'all the whole stack from the floor on down. 
Sorry for my uh, weak little tripod footage. <laughs> I mean, my weak tripod skills. But yeah, man, they go to the bottom all the way up to the top. And I don't have many. I got just enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with what I got. But I need some more. For sure. For sure need some more. But yeah, man. Mob, we up out of here, broski. Hope you enjoyed the visuals, man. Drop a like on this junk, you know what I'm saying? And a major, major shout out and salute to all my OG junkies, day ones, and new members again. All my Funko bros, make sure you subscribe to the Funko Pop channel because I'm no longer uploading Funko Pop videos on this channel anymore. Started a whole new channel, and my goal for that channel is to be one of the first Funko Pop channels to hit a million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we ain't gonna stop doing our thing over here. I need that love on this end too. But yeah, man. Um, as of now, I got three channels Funko Bros, Mob Only Music, which I'm gonna turn into Mob Only Family because it got Rooster Birth on there, man. So I'm gonna keep that one a family channel. You know what I'm saying? And of course, Mob Only Network on this end. And we're gonna run it like that. And me and Retro Young starting the Pokemon Go League, man. So, yeah. <laughs> if you battle, you know what I'm saying? You play Pokemon Go, look out for that league. That's coming too. But, yeah, broski. I'm up out of here for my fan and yours. Peace. <laughs> Can you see my fingers? Peace. Mob, mob, wet, mob, mob.